Question number four, Hamza Youssef. To ask the Scottish Government what action is being taken uh, by means of the Climate Change Fund to promote walking and cycling to work initiatives in Glasgow. Minister Stuart Stevens. Uh, I recently announced successful projects to re receive funding from Round 9 of the Climate Challenge Fund, and that included four projects totalling over £1.5 in Glasgow, and that contained an element of sustainable transport. Projects including an award to the Glasgow Bike Station of just under 450000 over three years for their A Better Way to Work at Glasgow project. Hamza Youssef. I uh, thank the Minister for his response and, of course, welcome uh, the grants coming towards Glasgow. And I suppose it is important that walking and cycling initiatives are, are supported. Um, we know the benefits, uh, boost to the health and fitness, reducing of stress, uh, saving money uh, in the process, all three things that all of us could probably benefit from. Has the government, though, considered a cycle hire scheme with docks at train or subway stations, Commonwealth game venues, or indeed throughout the city to encourage more Glaswegians to get active and to get fit? Minister. Um, I have seen uh, successful schemes of that kind in both Brussels and in, in London. It would, of course, be a matter for uh, Glasgow City Council to pursue. Uh, we will invest uh, over £20 million over the next th three years in active travel projects, and I'd be happy uh, that the Government works with the City Council in this matter. And McTaggart. Can we have Ms McTaggart? Thank you. What is that? Yeah. I applaud the Government's work in creating the Climate Change Challenge Fund. However, I wonder if the Minister can tell us how much of the fund is going to be spent plugging the gap created by the cuts to the Act of Travel budget. Minister. Uh, the Climate Challenge Fund is about innovation. Uh, it is about projects, so therefore it is very important that we're focused on that. Uh, the example uh, that was given in the original question uh, is an example of where that would be real innovation. I can't anticipate what the independent uh, panel will recommend to ministers, but that sounds like the kind of project that should be pursued. 